I think it's worth uh, putting Andrew Bridgen's comments in the context of what the Jewish community at the time when he tweeted wrote. Uh, Karen Pollock, who is the chief executive of the Holocaust Educational Trust, said the Holocaust was the systematic murder of six million Jewish men, women and children. They were stripped of their citizenship, their rights and their humanity. They were thrown out of their homes and forced into ghettos and camps before being murdered in towns and cities, forests and ravines, and in purpose-built killing centres. Today, the anti-Semitism and hatred that led to the Holocaust persists. Jews in the UK and beyond are targeted on the streets and online. Elderly Holocaust survivors share their darkest memories day in and day out in the hope that the world will remember the truth of what the Holocaust was and will speak out against its denigration, misuse, and abuse. For these horrors to be co-opted by anti-vaxxers once again is appalling. Andrew Bridgen's words were highly irresponsible, wholly inappropriate, and an elected politician should know better. And But other people also wrote clearly. The British Board of Deputies of Jewish, um, of British Jews, uh, said, for an MP to suggest that COVID vaccines are the biggest crime against humanity since the Holocaust is unconscionable. We'll be writing to the uh, chair of the Conservative Party. Of course, that chair uh, has since um, been sacked himself, Nadim Zahawi, to express our deep concern and ask for clarification. That clarification never came from Andrew Bridgen. He's had every opportunity to clarify and to put his words into proper context. Instead, all he's done is pouted and threatened Matt Hancock with uh, legal action, which never took place. Uh, Mark Gardner said that uh, the tweet was a repulsive, hurtful and idiotic comparison to make. Olivia Marks Waldman, the chief executive of the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust said, we find it particularly disturbing as we approach Holocaust Memorial Day that some people think it's appropriate to invoke the imagery of the Holocaust to score political points. The murder of six million people is not a subject for flippant analogies or political exploitation. There are other ways in which people can get their message across without using genocide as shock value. We owe it to victims of the Holocaust and survivors not to minimise their pain and suffering. So I think it's important, and in fact today, the, um, uh, the Jewish community has firmly come out um, in support of the action taken against Mr. Bridgen today. So, as I, I, as I said earlier, um, it's, um, it's in part Bridgen's example and the fact that uh, people have used uh, what he said to go out on the streets with posters connecting the Holocaust with uh, the anti-vaccination, uh, with, with the vaccine. Um, and it's abhorrent. And Bridgen, the, um, the, these examples were brought to his attention in Parliament, and Bridgen has done nothing to educate uh, the people who have followed him or to distance himself from them. Instead, he has postured and pontificated. That's not why he was elected. He was elected to represent with care, with caution, and with clear um, speeches the, uh, his, uh, his, his constituents, those constituents in the Leicestershire constituency which put him in Parliament. If he's not capable of doing that, if he's not capable of speaking clearly and being responsible for what he writes, then frankly he should not be an MP. There are other people who can take his place and who can represent uh, the people of Leicestershire significantly more coherently and effectively than he is doing. It's not a matter of party. It's um, I, I, And indeed I would, as, as um, enthusiastically condemn Diane Abbott at the moment, as I condemn uh, Bridgen. These people should not be representing their constituents because they are, they are incapable of representing themselves in any coherent way. 
It's all bluster and me, me, me. People are elected to Parliament for to to for their civil service, for their for their um for what they can give to society, not for what they can take. And certainly not because we want to hear their voice endlessly. We don't.